in the welterweight division. And, you know, I think he's the one to test a lot of fighters. He tested Ugas. We saw something good out of Ugas in that fight, but he didn't get the judges to give him the fight. He showed great boxing uh, technique. But at the end of the day, man, uh, you know, he's got another chance to redeem himself tomorrow night. And I'm looking forward to that. So do you think it's legit when uh, we call Terrence Crawford the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world? No. Oh, number one pound for pound? He, he, he did great things at 140. His very limited resume at 147. Um, I think he'd have to go through a few different names at 147 before you can fully legitimately say the things that just came out of your mouth. So who's the best pound for pound fight in the world? I don't know. First off, that's a wish list. Uh, I don't think it's a real thing. Uh, I just think it's the biggest debatable thing on the planet, pound for pound. Um, I used to argue Andre Ward was pound for pound, but nobody wanted to listen because Floyd Mayweather was pound for pound and he never lost. So Andre Ward had to be number two forever. And guess what? When you're pound for pound number two, nobody cares. I was pound for pound number seven at one time. Nobody cares, okay? The only thing everyone, anybody's ever going to talk about is pound for pound number one. So you just put Crawford up in there. I don't know if he really deserves that title, but I don't think it's a real ranking anyway. So be Sean Porter, you want that fight? Uh, I take all fights, especially I'm, I'm strapless. Where the straps at? Where the cash at? Where the straps at? You know? Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. What's the hardest thing to get used to facing Manny Pacquiao in the ring? What's the hardest thing to get used to? Um, the punch angles, even though luckily it made me smile. I love his tricky uppercut. You know, I just love it because I do it to people in sparring all the time. So I felt like it was a veteran move, but I was like, in, inside me, I was like, yeah, I know that move, Manny. Nice, nice, nice little move. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like being on the poker table and getting bluffed with like do seven. Like certain veterans, they can just outplay you. They can do things. And Pacquiao, I was saying it today. Uh, you, you guys are working. I was working. And I said it today that Pacquiao's been through everything. He's been through everything a fighter can go through from being knocked the F out to winning all these world titles to always being the small guy at 147. Can you ever make him feel uncomfortable? Step on his foot, Ugas, step on his foot, you know, and, 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 and you won't be the first to do that. But I'm just saying, how can we make this guy feel uncomfortable? You know, I mean, he's, he's a legend amongst legends. Um, I, I, I just love, we, we have to acknowledge, this is two years after his performance with me, right? He did take damage in that fight. Let's acknowledge this, okay? It's two years after. The later rounds were favoring me. What's going to happen this time, two years later? I've never seen Ugas fatigue in a 12-round fight. I've never seen that. I think that's one of his strong points, you know? Uh, but Manny Pacquiao, his angles, he's already a small guy. The moment he put his hands up, I said to myself, what can I hit? The target got so small, you know? Uh, it's, 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 like, it's like a game, and it's like, here's the target, and then you up the difficulty, and there goes the target, you know? And then once when he ducks, when he ducks and he shoots in these angles, you know, I'm right-handed, but he's left-handed. When he shoots in this angle, he shoots in this angle, but after you punch, you roll. And once when he punches and ducks, that was like kneecap size, bro. I don't got a punch for that, okay? I'm looking at him over here. I'm looking at him over there. And I'm like, what do I hit this man with? I don't have a punch for that. You know, luckily, I think Ugas might have a punch for that. I was thinking about it. People who have longer reach, when they throw uppercuts, see, see where my arm is? When people have longer arms, their uppercuts naturally get to go a little lower. I think if Ugas gets into his uppercuts if he sees that it's working and he lets that be a go-to punch that he might be able to do something in this fight tomorrow Keith, let me you ask you success exactly in the later rounds yourself against pacquiao well, what was it that you found like oh this this works this works a little bit or like were you just finding your no spots? it was time it was time to, it was time to um i fought i got knocked down i was pressing him with my with my body but not my hands after we got to the halfway point, I said, you, there's, I don't know how many rounds we won. I don't under, know how many rounds we lost, but you didn't lose every round. So you're in this fight. Let's put ourselves more into this fight. 
and I did that instantly. So it was all about the mindset and gearing myself up. Ugas's mindset on stage, I don't speak Spanish, but he's making lots of facial expressions. He knows that people think he's a paper champ. He knows that. He wants to prove that he is not that come tomorrow night. And you know what, speaking of that, break down the keys to victory for Ugas. Uh, a lot of people are saying that body Ugas shots. is good with body, body shots. Body shots, start from round one. Start from round one. If he faded on me two years ago, he's most likely gonna fade on you, okay? If those body shots, we all know the, the uh, philosophy behind body shots. You chop at the tree, you chop at the tree, you know? So if he's able to do that, you know, I was doing it a little bit, hence that body shot in the 10th round, Pacquiao was like, I can do it too, bam. You know, uh, we just gotta see. I was big, right? It was easy to just walk into Pacquiao. With my hands up, I was taking a lot of that. He knocked me down, going back. Ugas is gonna have to be careful. Pacquiao's trained himself throughout the years to take advantage of fighters out of position. So he's gonna have to do his best to stay solid and not get out of position and, and not let Manny do what Manny does best. Take us well, back to the, take quick, us back to the knockdown. Let me say straight up, man, that you won't dare fight Tank because he's I don't have a, look, look, long story short, he knows that's not true, okay? I don't, I don't know what he had in his cup that day, all right? <laughs> he knows that's not true, you know? Uh, I think it's a, you know, I got, I don't have to know boxing news because I get phone calls, I get text messages. The fans love this shit, you know? Uh, some people don't think it's the greatest fight, but some people are very interested in it. So at the end of the day, he, if he's moving up into welterweight division, he might not fight Thurman today. But if he's really in the welterweight division, I mean, it's Thurman versus everybody. Well, and Ellerby should know how that. How serious do you think they are about it? They, they type Zero. Of look, look, look. I, didn't I tell you earlier, this is my mouth. You see my mouth. You see me talk out my mouth. I have not seen Tank Davis's mouth do this. I'll fuck Keith Thurman up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna knock Keith Thurman the fuck out, okay? I saw Leonard Ellaby make a comment on Twitter. That's what came back to me from another somebody just like you. When you come at me with questions, Thurman has answers. They said, he's getting ready for this. He's got an answer for Thurman. I was here in Vegas last night. I was bored. I watched the video. I watched the video, Dante Boxing. I watched your video. Where was Tank's mouth? You said his coach said this, and somebody said, where's Tank Davis at? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like when um, Danny Garcia, his daddy did all the talking. Why do you think, man, when we got into that stare down, go watch that stare down. That was the best. You want to know why it was one of the best? Why well, it was the best, man. Because Danny stepped up to me, long hair Thurman, stepped up to me, right? And then he, I don't know what he thought, I was in middle school or some bullshit. He thought I was in middle school. This boy, mm, he, I will let you hit me square up before I step back from you, boy. And that was the moment right then and there. All that trash talking from his daddy, I made you jump out your shoes, Danny. Now see, it's different. It's different if in every face off, this was Danny Garcia. Like I just mm, 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 all up in people's grip. Mm, 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 mm. Look, man, he ain't never did that. He ain't never did that, but he wanted to do it to me. Why? He wasn't scaring me. He was showing me how scared he was. You know what I mean? Look, that's why I'm saying when other people do the talking for you, Thurman don't take it serious. And at the end of the day, I was trying to tell him this. I don't know if it was in his clip. I love Tank Davis. He's exciting. I love him as a lightweight. The moment you put anybody in the welterweight division, it's Thurman versus everybody. Why? Because Thurman makes the great fights. You know what I mean? This fight is good. It's good. Pacquiao Thurman, she already shouted out. I heard somebody. Pacquiao Thurman too, right? They already just shouted out, right? We was trying to get Ugas earlier this year. Thurman Ugas is a great fight. Thurman Crawford is a great fight. Thurman Errol Spence is a great fight. Shit, if Thurman could fight Thurman, that would be a great fight. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Where are you with I, any of those fights? Anything. Psst, psst, psst. Look, I don't know what's being thrown at me next, you know? But, you know, 
I'm here. I'm ready to get back in the ring. I hope it's something exciting. If it's just a uh, let's get Thurman back for the fans, let's get Thurman back in action, and then I have to give you something very exciting in the next quarter, you know, well, might as well say it this weekend, I would love to see Errol Spence. It was, so, this fight right here, it was supposed to be Pac Spence, that would never manifest if I threw 15 more punches. That would have never manifested. It was never supposed to manifest. So, Spence getting around that whole, I don't care about Thurman, cool. In my head, I was like, get through Pack, do whatever you do or don't do, we gotta watch it. Whatever happens, and you want that next big paper you fight, Thurman's right here. When Al calls you and says, do you wanna have this big pay-per-view fight? Show me you don't care no more. And then you when I come I mean? over, you're gonna come talk to me. You're gonna talk Look, to me. Look, plus, we, he's the truth. That's right. You know, we all wanna test the truth. We all wanna shoot. I wanna seek the truth. You know what I mean? Y'all should know I read a lot. You know what I'm saying? I seek the truth. I love this sport. I told y'all, I'm the first fighter that always said it. I gotta, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. If you can beat me, beat me. My mama used to beat me. My daddy used to beat me. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like Manny, I'll beat, Manny Pacquiao beat me, but he ended up defeating me. He, he gave me my first L. It is what it is. Y'all ain't never seen Thurman's revenge punch. Y'all ain't never seen that revenge punch. It's coming. It's coming next. You know what I mean? Whoever they put in the ring, they gonna get the raft of me taking an L. Real talk. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.